Hey, I'm Andy Costello, professional real estate broker. I'm here with Tangie Summerhill Bishop, owner of A Simple Pleasures and Happy Baskets. Tell us a little bit, Tangie, about what you do here. Well, hello, thank you for coming and visiting me today. It's so nice to actually have people <laughs> in the, here. All right, so uh, what we do is customize gift baskets for a variety of budgets and holidays. Um, we just like to make people feel special and we love to pe bring smiles to people when baskets are delivered. I love it. And I've uh, had some of your baskets delivered. They definitely brought smiles. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you got started. So I was in the corporate world for over 20 years and then looking for a change, which a lot of people are going through that even now. And uh, so I was actually a vendor of Happy Baskets. And mm. uh, as you know, like with any business, you become friends with your clients. And I became friends with the original owner and then ended up buying it in August of 2017. And then uh, fast forward a couple years, uh, last September, then I bought Simple Pleasures as well. That's amazing. And growth during a pandemic. I love it. <laughs> What's been one of the biggest challenges that you've faced since um, owning Happy Baskets and A Simple Pleasures? Um, especially during COVID has been help. Mm. Uh, just because obviously it is a time intensive project that is with people. I mean, you physically, you know, handle the products, you handle the baskets, and then you need, depending on the size of order, you need more people. So having people help has probably been one of the biggest challenges because, you know, going through the motions of, you know, have you been sick? Have you been exposed? Mm -hmm. And, and so that's probably been one of the biggest challenges this year's finding staff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. What do you attribute your success to though? Because obviously you've done a great job to buy happy baskets and then add simple pleasures to your repertoire. I would say the the biggest thing has been a marketing background. So mm -hmm. my my background is in marketing and got my MBA and, and my degrees in marketing and business. So obviously that played into it, but I will tell you I've had a sea of help and a village that has helped me um, keep me going and, and pushing me uh, to this point today. So it would, I could not stand here and say, oh, it's all my education. Oh no, it was a village of people that have helped me tirelessly over the past few years. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It does take a village to grow and start a business. Yes. Um, what's one thing you'd want the community to know about Simple Pleasures and Happy Baskets? You know, that we are, we're different from the standpoint of you can go to any store and just buy something off the shelf. A, a gift basket or even a gift or a gift card. What we like to tell people and what I like to tell people is the fact that everything is customizable here from the basket to the, the ribbon that you see. You can have it, you know, something with your name on it or, or the reason why you're giving the gift basket. You know, the contents of the gift basket can be, you know, we did one yesterday where the they wanted it to be comfort but no food. Mm. And, you know, some people are gluten free or vegan. And so what's nice is again, you can't tell a basket that's already on the shelf saying, I want a vegan gift basket. <laughs> you know, you're going to get what you get off the shelf, but here at happy baskets and simple pleasures, we can customize it and make it to be special just as the person receiving the basket. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Um, and you don't even have to know what you want in the basket. Cause when I, uh, have placed orders. I, I, I'm not a good gift giver. I was just like, help me. And you did a great job and my recipients loved it. So don't feel like you have to know what you want when you call because you're awesome at just making it happen. Um, so if somebody wants to place an order, reach out and learn more. What's the best way for them to get in touch? Um, well, we have two different, we have websites, um, but then also email. So we have sales at happybaskets.com for email so that way we can have a dialogue. We also have two websites where you can place orders. One is happybaskets.com. The other one is sppdx.com. I love it. And I will put the websites in the show notes. So when you want to just click on it, the information's right there. Tangie, thank you so much for your time and sharing your story. I, I love what you do here and that you bring happy smiles to so many people. Well, thank you, Andy. And it's thanks to Andy that we are standing in my warehouse space because she helped me find it. So thank you, Andy. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this week, everybody. Uh, take care. And if you can, take care of someone else too. I'll catch you next week. Bye-bye.